She likes to kiss Andy, you know. That's her first boyfriend. John got that for her for uh, her birthday. Ah, oh, yeah! <laughs> what I was thinking about, you know, when I uh, heard about Kurt Cobain's death, and, you know, I, I, you know, we, we just experienced River, River Phoenix's death, and before that, Hillel Slovak's death. There's this self-destructive thing in, that happens to people, you know, in this business or something. Mm, so everybody dies. I don't think it's that big of a deal. No? For instance, in River's case, I think it's more of a shame that, uh, that he was doing something he didn't like. I think it's more of a shame that he was born than he died. Because he didn't like this life, he didn't like this place, and he's in a better place now. Hmm. You know, and that's the way, I don't think that death is a big deal. I don't care if I die right now. It doesn't mean I'm self-destructive. I, I really love life, and I think that's the only way to love life. It starts to separate the boys from the men when you see who's who's got that inside of them and who doesn't, you know? That's when somebody becomes a good musician and the other person doesn't is because one is all concerned with the future and the past, you know? And one is just right here, right now, excited, you know, and calm. Mm -hmm. And sad and doesn't give a fuck. Some people are sad and they're like, oh no, this leads to death. Ak 